We're doing another number one. We are watching the number one ranked Sun Wukong. He is Masters 2400 as a player. So this isn't going to be a hopefully, hopefully it won't be a repeat of the Plat Thanatos. No offense to you, Jay Swifty. Hopefully not. I'll pull up his stats real quick just so you can see. He's got, I think, 100 wins and 70 losses on Wukong. Uh, his win rate's a little low for Masters, but he's he hasn't gone down to the 2200 MMR rate range yet. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to give him too much crap. And we're just going to see because I haven't watched a solo laner yet, especially a rank one solo. Later. Wukong is an interesting one to me at least Wukong is interesting because he's built mostly from what I see damage especially now it seems like damage has been ramped up a lot since they buffed his one perfect god to watch so let's get into it all right so you've got almost 200 Wukong games played right yep quite a bit has it changed much with the buff? Because, like, he gets played more, at least on NA. Uh, hold on, I didn't even mention. You're on EU servers, right? Yep. Yeah, EU. okay. So, in NA, he went from never being played to now he's played almost every game. And he's built damage. So, did you see, like, a, like do you feel like he's stronger now after the buff? Like, only, honestly, last buff, I didn't notice it, it at all. Like, the only buff that I actually noticed was the, the one in the two and the passive. That one was pretty huge. Okay. So, this last buff just irre almost irrelevant. You don't even care. Yeah, pretty irrelevant. Yeah. Are you building mostly damage or are you doing like, you know, a mix? Well, there are like two different builds. One for early mid game and a second one for late game. The early game is um, Bluestone Soul Eater and the late game one is CGL Trans. And which one do you, what are you, I'm assuming you're playing for late game, right? Because that's all Smite is. Yeah, no, normally it will, the CGL one, I think it's better. I think it's going to be Aqua and Solo, which is kind of fine, I guess, because I, I go Beach Blink, so he can't execute me. No teleport? You can get away with that? Nah, no need to. Like, you can get to lane pretty fast with your three. Oh, no, we got dodged. All right. <laughs> I'm going to mute up to get back in another game. All right. You finally got your roll. Well, let's pray that nobody dodges now. Okay, you just jinx it. We're going <laughs> for four dodges. All right, so you go the late game build. Do you, we're, you were talking about what you were going to build against Al Kwong. Do you go teleport ever? Or... No, I never go teleport. Oh. Always uh, bitch link. Okay, okay. Because you, you, can, you can't get to any, like, pretty fast with your three. That's so you can dive late game and kill a major hunter, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, and, and you don't get to see that beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So you basically play like an assassin just coming out the soul lane, which is yeah, when, when Wukong was peaked, that's pretty much all he was. You, you were, you know, you're trading with a mage, 1v1ing him, and then your team won the fight. Do you have any matchups you avoid in lane? Um, normally, I ban Hades because, uh, you know, a stupid lane phase. Um, but... About warriors, not really. There is there isn't anyone that actually fucks you up too much. Maybe Herc because he's kind of broken, but I think Wukong is one of the best gods into Herc, in my opinion. Where are you from, by the way? I am from Spain. Okay. <laughs> do you know uh, Do you know Kasir, the coach? Huh? Do you know no, Kasir, the coach? You don't? No, I don't. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's my only connection to the like Spain community is uh, he was a coach when I played in the SPL and he would always talk about the community. I'm interested in how this goes. Do you start rotating? Do you look to rotate early or do you just kind of just play it? No, I'm going to farm up until at least three items. Okay. Like one of the good things about Wukong is that you can you can freely rotate about uh, around the map, not only to like to go game getting fights, but also to to out farm the, the other solo. Like, you can be 0-0 zero, zero and maybe one level or two levels above him just because you can farm better. Yeah, your clear is pretty nuts with your one. Yeah. Lane and jungle clear. And you, like you said, you're really safe. Like, you can kind of go wherever you want. You're not going to die. Yeah. Look at the stars, by the way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How many stars is that? It's like 46, I think. I lost the count too far. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to bug you too much while you're playing. Um, I might pop in and ask you a question or something when you have downtime, but we're just going right. to watch. You can say whatever you're going to say or want to say up to you. My boys got so many stars of the Wukong. Oh, we're playing bait. We're playing smite fucking alpha. Yo, this is the texture. All right, I have to ask him. I have to ask you this. Is your mm -hmm. settings, like your texture and stuff like this? Um because you like it like this or because your computer because my pc is dog shit like <laughs> okay <laughs> we're gonna have him lower it just in case uh by the way this is what it looks like this isn't discord quality this is what his game looks like because look at the actual like look at this the quality down here is fine 
this is what the game looks like on his settings what's crazy is when i played in the spl the computers that they had there the bait the settings they defaulted to look like this these were the default settings i had to turn my settings up because i don't like having the little square i'm assuming he's gonna have the little targeting square because he's on low yeah that targeting square i can't play with so i had to up my settings to make sure that would go away when do we start playing robo dude you'd be surprised a lot of spl and high level players play on really low settings like this um it's actually better competitive wise you can tell what abilities are what and where they are way clearer so when you're not playing for like oh, i want like i have graphics up because of content because people like the higher graphics um but yeah this is uh this is a, a normal for a lot of people he's doing it because computer stinks it's normal it makes the map look bigger like a lot bigger all right he is bullying this one He's down to two pots already, but I'm assuming this Guan doesn't have pots or has low amount of pots. I didn't even look at their team comps. He should be all right, technically, with his... Like, their team comp is really good. The Agni might be hard for him to deal with. Or he might just farm him. I don't know. He is 2400 MMR. He has, like, almost 200 games played on Wukong. He's the number one Wukong, obviously. 2400 Masters. Apparently, he said he had 46 stars. <laughs> just nuts is he using normal casting he's not on instant i don't know if it's it might be a quick cast it looks like quick cast oh did he just stun his dash i think yeah he stunned his dash oh he's gonna kill him how are you going my boy <laughs> That was really clean, actually. For... I'm assuming... I'm gonna ask him. Do you play on quick cast? Uh, no, in normal cast, not everything. Oh, that's normal cast. Okay, shit. Yep. All right, you were right. He is on normal cast. I was wrong. He's just really quick with uh, with it. Which is why I, I think normal is better than quick, but instant's better than everything by a mile. This Guan's gonna have a bad time. So I'm gonna point out like the stuff that i know because a lot of you guys that play solo you either learn from fine okay or haddix or nika or you know you're struggling to learn because their play style is more aggressive you don't understand it he played back right away because that guan came out of base with an advantage so he's just trying to greed farm right now since he doesn't have a tp and he wants the back no shot that was intended to stun his dash. I think he was just looking for the stun. It did happen to dash at the exact time. That happens a uh, lot. Oh, happens. his blues invaded. This is going to set him back a little bit. I want to see how he reacts. Wukong with no mana against Guan with mana might give that Guan a chance to come back in this lane. Completed. I think he decided not to go ult because he has beads. So what does he need his ult for? Oh, it's just yeah, he skipped leveling the ult, him. but I believe oh, I'm, I can ask him. Did you skip leveling all because you have beads and you just want the extra damage and clear? Yeah, yeah, uh, and the clear uh, goes pretty hard with the the second, the third point in the one. And the main reason is because you have beads. I'm assuming it's because you can't. Yeah, I have, be I have beads and yep. he, he doesn't mean a threat to me right now. It's sold. Okay. See, I know my shit a little bit. An enemy has been bested. I highly doubt most people with TP do that. Um, if you're going TP, you probably shouldn't do that because you have no safety net. But if you have beads, you have a safety net. Scripted? Yeah. Yeah, this is all scripted out the night before. That's a free kill. See how he's playing back so they one can't ult for free. That's a good gank from Sir Cat. Granted, that Guan is getting bullied. Pretty easy. This is the number one Wukong, yes. Every it's funny, most of these players, especially the Masters players, use the old UI. So you like the old UI better than the new UI? Uh yeah, I do. Mostly Just, because the, the shop is kinda where the with the new one. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Every Masters player I've watched right now uses the the wait, I don't know about Stallone. 
Everyone else has used the old oh, UI. Maybe I swap back to the old UI, dang. I love him just looking for extra farm. When you guys want to know about rotating out of the soul lane, he's not looking for a real rotation. He's looking for more farm. So he was going to go check back to see if they're up. Notice how it's like a half rotation. It's not there. He's out. If it is there, he goes and farms it. An ally has been slain. Seven to one. His team is destroying. Goodness gracious. I didn't realize it was that bad. And he said this build he's going is for late game. I'm not really taking much damage from this dude. He's gonna just try to out secure him, I think. Which is smart. Oh, he baited. Oh, fuck. Nice try. That's Timing close. was close. Okay, I got stunned out of her three. Oh, that's unfortunate. She never all, or it wasn't like her all was up anyway, I guess. This is very low graphics. This is just him playing on minor, like the worst graphic settings in the game. I wonder what his FPS is. I don't remember what he said. He goes second, Soul Eater? Bro, this build? This makes me want to play Wukong solo. Enemy missing. Is down. Any tips for capitalizing off an of early lead? If nice. I run my games, the enemy team That's catches up. Current Smite? Bro, there's no capitalizing off of early lead, sadly. Right now in Smite, there's too many comeback mechanics. Consistency and objective play is how you win. Getting early kills and everything doesn't actually matter as much as it should. There's extra gold from, uh, you know, like the objectives on the map, the camps. There's you know, extra gold off of kills that people that are on a streak. There's extra XP off of that stuff. It's crazy. Alan, I remember the sad parts of yesterday. Yes. He's got a really chunky lead right now. We need wards. Enemy missing. You know, if I was gonna be a soul later, damage Wukong wouldn't be the worst things. At least you do damage. Oh man, that's true. If this had looked, if they had made Smite look like this for everybody for RuneScape for the drop event, that would have been dope. Feels RuneScapey. Not quite, but okay. ish. Honestly, when he looks at the walls on the left, it looks Borderlands esque. Oh yeah, he's really clean with his mechanics, though. He's missed a couple ones while poking the wave, but not, not bad. He has no CDR right now because he doesn't have stacks on Transcendence. His team is still stomping. This is an E. He plays on EU servers. He said the matches sometimes are pretty rough. There aren't a lot of people queuing at Masters level plus. They need more people to play Smite ranked. I think we're combined right now with console and PC and there still aren't enough people. He's two levels up. Probably closer to a level and a half, but he's big. A lot of people play on graphics this low. A lot. A lot of competitive players. Performance is more important and visuals are more like seeing abilities and what they're doing is more important than cool looking graphics in competitive games. Could have been better. You ever seen FPS players play on stretch res like Apex, CSGO, Valorant? They'll play on this on weird resolutions, so everything will be stretched and like the heads will be bigger and stuff for you visually. And the game looks like butt cheeks when you do it. It's a very common competitive theme. Interesting. What? Uh, could have been better. Turns are planning. Oh, he wants to kill this guy. He's trying not to let the guy old. Ooh! 
Is he one more tower shot here? He doesn't. Wow, that was perfectly timed. That was super clean. His timing on his abilities is flawless. And he played that so... Oh. What the? Okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He played that perfectly. I'm pretty sure he's knocking immune in his bird form. I don't know if he was just freaking out or what. Um... He won first, knowing he was gonna pull tower aggro, so he could three instantly instead of trying to three and get a delayed one off. The one has a longer ability. Wait, he's not knocking me into the bird form? Just slow him in? Oh, it's ox form. He's not gonna I'm trolling my bad. So he's just big brain. This man knows Wukong inside and out. Yeah, he's going full damage with the sigil start. I think he said glad. Yeah, glad shield. Filthy build, man. Filthy build. It's extra filthy because this Wukong never tried to kill him. But at the same time, I don't know if I would have... Sorry, I said this Wukong didn't try to kill him. The Fender didn't try to kill him. I don't know if I would have tried either when I, if I saw a Wukong with beads. Because how do you kill a Wukong who has his ult and beads? This Fender. It should be a waste of your time. been better that's unfortunate do you know what to build to beat a cold in summer you have a cold or you have al allergies allergies been messing with us lately both to be honest i i just started using allergy medicine so i can uh, fall asleep easier and it's like a astra or Astray or something like that. I have to look it up. It ends with like an RE and it works. It burns your nose like a motherfucker when you use it, but it works. Sammy had a headache for like 12 hours two days ago and she came home early from work from it and felt like shit. And I was like, it might be your allergies. And she's like, yeah, it could be. I was like, take this med my medicine. She took it and her headache was gone in like 30 minutes that she had all day. She wouldn't admit that I was right. She was like, well, I also took Tylenol a second time. Like, okay. He uses normal cast. Yep. Yep. His play is super fluid. He's not getting pressured out. I, I wish... Obviously, I can't set up the scenarios, but it would have been cool to see how he played if he was being focused or pressured out and, like, people were trying to gank him. I am interested in his late game, though. Let's see him team fight. I want to group 5v5 or something. They're up 4k. And he's probably up 1500. Wukong is very viable now. He got buffed. I didn't realize he got buffed back to back, but I asked him, I was like, does he feel better now after the buffs in the last patch? He said this last patch buffs, he doesn't even feel. But the patch before that, when they put in the buffs, was a big deal. Which I think was when they changed, they, like the healing on his ult got changed and his passive got buffed or something. I don't even remember what the exact changes were, to be honest, because nobody was playing Wukong. This is the number one Wukong, yes. He's a 46 star Sun Wukong. He's Masters 2400 MMR. And he has almost 200 games played on Wukong. So far. Okay, that's not one in this Yeah. Thank you. On my way. That is a tanky one. He's out. Janice skin is that. Yeah, he's gigantic. Three kills and an assist. Team up 4k. He's got a three level lead off of Mo. I mean, he has the kills, but a lot of this is natural farm. He just clears faster. Throw, like... They might throw if they if they die to him, they gonna they're gonna give him so much gold and XP. At least it's our kettle. That's crash test on me. Okay. Vix, I'm glad you uh, took that advice and didn't, you know. Take it the wrong way. So Vix was in our rat, one of our rat elo hell games. Actually, wait, Vix, were you? 
You were in the rat elo hell where it wasn't actually elo hell. It was where I tricked you. Well, he's in here. He said he's changed up a bunch of stuff. He took a lot of the, the feedback and criticism, which is what I like. My goal is I don't want to be a dick for no reason when you guys play on this stuff. His use of his three has been perfect every single time. He's hit it every time. I guess he missed one under tower. As I said, he misses one, but he, he's used the right forms. He's kind of killing it. I think this one might die. Three, oh, oh and two. This team is dying in left because they were two men fighting over here. I do think Sir Cat being over here is bad. Obviously, him on Wukong isn't the problem or like anything wrong with him being here. He's supposed to be here. This Sir Cat has no reason to be camping this lane still at 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. Wait, this Fender is dead. This Fender is actually just dead. Oh man, if he like one or two more autos and he overcommitted, he's dead. That damage is nuts. I hate Glass. I want to get my binding on Crotty to Gold. This is EU, yeah. yeah. He's from Spain. Your middle tower is under attack. I like this. I'm gonna have to put this build on Smite Source. Because this gets people away from going that blue stone, the blue starts. Secured it with his three instead of a two. I was expecting him to three it, or to two it. Sorry, not three it. I don't know. I'll ask him. Somebody wants to know why more so many players stick the normal cast over instant. So. How come uh, you use normal cast? Is that just your preference? Have you ever tried to use instant or quick cast or anything else? No, I've never tried honestly. I always got used to this and this way I use. I think that's most re people are just, that's what they played with at the beginning, got used to it. So they don't swap. Yeah. I'm pretty sure what he just said is the common theme. People don't change up their play because it works. I'm one of those people that you can always improve. So I consistently like to try new things. And for me, instant was a thousand times better. It wasn't even close. I think most people that swap and like are actually open to it, realize instant is way better. Up if it's minutes. comfortable though, and it's working. It's like one of those, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type things. For me, I've always changed different things. I've messed with sensitivities, all that stuff. It took you three days to swap from quick to instant. Sounds about right. This is smite on the lowest settings. Yes. Yep. This, I just can't get over it. This is what the Alienware computers were set to by default when we played competitive smite for, you know, season one to eight. Disgusting. They're gonna come fight or now. Um, it's whatever, I guess. He got baited. That's the one problem with full damage Wukong. He, uh, this is what I was very interested in seeing is if the grouping happened uh, and he was ever separated, if he had a way to play around it. He's going to get CC locked. Agni is very strong. He ran right into them, though. Quick touch is dead. Oh, okay. Around. Bro. There you go. If Sir Kent didn't waste her two, she could have just got a double kill here. She misplayed. And Janice hasn't been in this fight very much. Wait, his ADC hasn't either. No. Oh, the portal! He just golfed his ass. Imagine J <laughs> It's like the mini putt putt, bro. When Janice dashes into an Agni portal. Retreat me! 
Oh, he wants Stone of Binding. I wonder if Stone is his normal item. Yes. Is Stone of Binding your normal go-to in that slot? Yeah, it's my normal go-to. Because uh, with the you have enough medical protection with the CD land, Stone of Binding and passive. Yeah, that's nuts. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, right now he's got. Like, this he's is my big the game build. Dude, pretty much what I've been saying. Just I didn't realize this was the order that they, like he would go. Uh, well, I've said since they buffed through Kong that you go two defensive nice items. One. He's kind of going three though with Sigil. They got baited off a of fire. That was smart of the Guan. By them time. Thank you, Cryptic. The build is on Smite Source already. GG. Thanks, Savior. An ally has okay. fallen. Completed. This he's 2400 MMR masters. Rank one Wukong. They're resetting it. kind of want to go in but i don't feel the follow-up i respect that he doesn't want to go in his your cat's dead so he'll die by himself level 20 he's three levels up he's almost full build too let's no, I guess he's not almost full build. No starter. he has a four level lead on this guy oh my gosh okay i guess <laughs> All right, bro. Um, you might be able to kill this guy. Oh, coming. I'm surprised he didn't stun him. I think he could have killed this guy. He was waiting to see who the other person coming was, but it's not Agni. Ah, oh, he's level 16, dude. It wasn't gonna do anything to him. Look at how much he heals. He's never killing that one. It's up to you if you want to swap the instant. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, you must swap. But my opinion is instant is better. Mathematically, instant is faster. So I will promote instant over everything else. I haven't seen him VGS. I don't know if I've just been ignoring it or not. So I think one thing he really could improve on is calling VGSs as he goes somewhere so his team can start grouping and doing more. And he'll he'd probably win a lot more games just by doing something small like that. He types in chat sometimes. Or, I mean, I when I say use VGS, I'm talking about all the time. That will help you win way more games. Just in general, even if people don't listen perfectly, just having something being said is value. Your middle tower is under attack. Enemy team has destroyed the pirate. Like right now, he could be saying group or like, you know, pinging or doing something to fight. And because he does so much damage of his team's there to follow up like that Kev, but he instantly gets kills. He's going to kill everybody. Granted that Fender no HP. Oh, no that was a good save. <laughs> Bro, he whipped that three back real hard. There you go. They're not doing it because they want to push mid, but that's not on him. It's free kills the Agni out of position. Fuck me. Okay. Oh! And he died, but he played pretty clean right there. Hello again, Grease.
Now at this point, I should hit like an actual truck. He's got really good stats on the full build. 329 in hand, 250 power, 224 fizz, 180 magic, and then he's got auras from Geb putting him up, up to like 300. Nah, maybe like 260 fizz, 210 magic. He does everything textbook. You go in the zone, something gets closer. He's playing this correctly too. Oh my gosh, that Geb, or not Geb, the box almost stole the fire. That was close. That should be the game. Playing the dash of the old. Watching somebody play clean when their team is playing solid is nice. It's relaxing. We've done enough it's elo health to not be used to calm play. He's smart. He's not over committing and diving. He's playing to win the game the way everyone should be playing. Flipper, they have a 23. I haven't seen Smite look like this in a long time. I'm telling you, the walls and stuff look like Borderlands. Uh, what's up, Melo? Thank you for the six months. I think he either tried to burn. No, he, did he try to blink first? He tried to do something weird right there. <laughs> he did say, oh, <laughs> the old fuck. Oh my God. Is that, that <laughs> Aji's still level 19, but he is so hard. Fire giant red pot. Look at this power. His defense, 290 Fizz D, 304 Fizz D. Why? Why does he have 290 Fizz D and 240 magic while having 360 power? Stats are nuts. That was a really clean game. Yeah, like the teammates were pretty good also. Yeah. I was talking about, I would like to see how you played while being like pressured by ganks, but if I'm a fender, I'm never trying to kill a Wukong with beads and ult. Like it's just a waste of yeah, time. It's pretty hard to kill. That's, that's why I like him too much. Mm -hmm. No one even wants to go over there. Dude, at the end of that game, when you guys were ending, you had two six or 360 power, um, mm -hmm. 290 Fizz D and 240 magic defense. Yeah, that's that, that's what I like about this build. Like mathematically, mathematically, it's like too strong. Yeah, look at your damn. <laughs> You're one k less than ADC. Who is WK? That's crazy. <laughs> like, I feel like this god is too undervalued, man. Oh my gosh! Do you play him when you get other roles? Like, if you get support or jungle, do you play him, or do you just play normal stuff? Um, I play normal stuff, but mostly I play warriors. Like, sixty percent of my games are on warriors. Like, you can imagine. <laughs> So you do, if Wukong's banned, who's your go-to? Like, who else do you play? Uh, if I get what? If Wukong gets banned, what else do you play? What's your go-to? Um, my, my second best got is Shiva, but he's pretty bad right now. So probably going when you or Kukulin or Shorter. Okay. Well, I appreciate you letting me watch. Do you have, like, a 
Twitch or YouTube or Twitter you want to shout out or anything? Well, I have um I'm here on Twitch, but I don't stream right now. So, but I will, I'll probably start streaming soon. So, so Hugador Tactico, if you guys can follow and you ever thought of a stream or you want to watch or ask some questions, there you go. I appreciate you letting me watch. It was it was weird. It wasn't weird. It was good, but different to watch a solo laner because I haven't watched anyone play solo in a hot minute. Well, thank you for the shout out. Yes, sir. No problem. I appreciate you, brother. See ya, mate. Oh, yes, sir. Later.